Hi, this is Patrick from STH. Today we're going to show what happens when you take two AMD EPYC 7601 processors and see how fast they are at Monero mining. Turns out we're going to set a world record. First we're going to jump into our host and just show you the AMD EPYC 7601 32 core 64-thread CPUs. We have already set up Docker on this machine and we're going to use one of our Docker images. We're going to use our dwarf pool image you can see that while you may not think this is a big server application, we actually have over 100,000 pulls in the last few months on our most popular Docker mining image. As we start the miner, you can actually see that we started about 2100 hashes per second. We're already well over 3000. The, these numbers are already world records, but we're gonna show what happens in a few minutes after the application warms up a bit more. In the meantime, we wanted to show that we actually have 64 threads running. The reason for this is that this application is perfect for the AMD Zen architecture. Each mining thread uses two megabytes of level three cache, which is exactly the ratio that the AMD Zen platform has. One caveat that we have to mention is the fact that LCPU is still showing only eight megs of level three cache, even though we have several times that. We did have to use one of our images so we could set the thread count manually because this actually breaks our normal mining scripts. As you can see, this is using about a third of a kilowatt on 208 volt power. Fast forwarding a few minutes, we can show that we're actually hitting over 3,500 hashes per second. Just to give you an idea, an Intel E5 2699v4 dual system would probably be in the 1700 to 1800 range. The reason our mining images are so popular is that you can actually make quite a bit of money or at least offset your operational costs of a server for something that is performing seasonal workloads or has times where it's largely idle. We're using 3000 hashes per second here, which kind of shows what it would look like over a year if you're using this as a seasonal workload server. If we took another example at 2000 where you have a server that has say 40% idle time, you're still covering operational costs and ending up even a little bit ahead. Even mining only on 43% of a server's time, so that could be nights and weekends, actually pays for the entire operational costs of the AMD EPIC platform when it's in a data center. And we're using fairly expensive PG&E data center power in Northern California. While you cannot pay for the server chips using Monero mining, you can pay for operational costs. And this is a world record, about 2x what we saw with previous generation parts. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more cool videos.